If a bird pooed on your arm, you wouldn't just wipe it off with a tissue. You would obviously wash it off with water. That was already enough to convince me to buy a bidet. I also found out that using a bidet actually is more sustainable than toilet paper because it actually saves water. At first I thought, how does a bidet save water when it uses water? And yes, while a bidet does use water, it doesn't use as much water as it would take during the production of toilet paper. Apparently it takes 140 litres just to produce one roll of toilet paper. And this water is getting mixed with all different types of waste as it gets put back into the environment. Now knowing all of this, you would probably wonder why toilet paper is the norm. Well, actually it isn't. Many other countries around the world use different tools and different methods to clean themselves with water instead of using toilet paper. People from Southeast Asia use this thing, which we Filipinos call a tabo. People from the Middle East use what's called a lota. Most European bathrooms have a whole separate bidet installed right next to their toilet. And it looks as if every toilet in Japan has a full butt cleaning experience. So why is it not the norm in Western countries like the UK, America, and here in Australia? Well, apparently the British first encountered bidets in European brothels, and there was this stigma that was created around bidets. So looking at the bigger picture, millions of acres of forest are being cut down, billions of litres of water are wasted, so people can wipe their ass with a tissue, all because some Englishmen saw bidets as they went around European brothels. And because of this, toilet paper has become this thing we can't live without, as if there's no sanitary alternative. Toilet paper is deemed an essential item, basically making the ability to wipe your ass a human right at this point. And if all of this is preventing me from having the most hygienic and sustainable number two experience, well then sh- So I bought my bidet online from a company called Tushi. So I bought the model that can use hot water, but I didn't realize you have to connect it to your sink in order for the hot water to work. And the sink in my bathroom is a little too far for it to work, so I'm pretty bummed out about that. But nevertheless, I'm still gonna use it, obviously. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it up right now. So it took less than an hour to set up, and it only took so long because I ran into a few issues. Yo, bro. Which I'll get into later. But with the help of my dad, we were able to get it all set up. And how could I forget the squatty potty? So I'm gonna wait tomorrow to actually get the full experience and uh, I'll show you how it goes. I promise I'm not gonna show you a video of me doing a number two, but the next morning went a little something like this. Okay, all jokes aside, it wasn't exactly like that, but I would still highly recommend buying a bidet. I believe we as individual consumers have the ability to create change through the products we choose to buy. So if buying a bidet means reducing or even eliminating the amount of toilet paper I need to purchase, then it seems like a worthwhile investment for not only me, but also the environment. If you do choose to buy a bidet, it doesn't have to be the exact one that I got. Tushi is not a sponsor of this video in any way. I just really appreciate when a company like theirs uses their marketing to push a better message with their products that are actually better for the environment. So Tushi is a company based out in the US and even so buying from their website was still super simple and mine only came after a week after purchasing it, even here in Australia. The only plastic packaging that was in the box were from the bags that included the adapters to adjust them to an Australian toilet, which came for free by the way. Now, if you do decide to buy from Tushi, here are a few things from my experience that may help you. So before you buy the model that uses hot water, which is called the spa version, double check if your sink is close enough to your toilet. The additional hose you get to connect the bidet to the hot water valve under your sink is 2.7 meters. And even if it does reach, check that it can be easily installed without sticking out. Perhaps if your sink is too far in front of your toilet and you don't want a tiny tube running along your bathroom wall or floor. But I'm actually glad I got the spa model because if I didn't get the additional hose, I wouldn't have been able to connect any water at all. You see, the metal flexi hose that's provided is short enough to connect the bidet to your toilet water valve if it's on the right hand side. But for my toilet, it's on the left hand side, which is probably why the metal hose couldn't reach all the way. So what I did was, I used the hose that was intended for the hot water, then used it to connect to the cold water side of the bidet, since it was longer. Then I added this little inlet cap that they provide to plug up the hot water side. 
I tried to first install it using the plastic adapter, but it kept leaking even with Teflon tape, which didn't come in the box by the way. So I just switched to the brass adapter. And to actually be able to change the angle of the spray, I just readjusted the bidet a little bit forward. So basically what I'm saying is, double check if your toilet water valve is on the right hand side of your toilet. If it's not, make sure you buy an additional hose on their spare parts site. If you want to buy the spa model and use hot water, make sure your sink isn't too far away and that you would be able to install it in a way that is discreet. When you get yours delivered to you, follow the instructions and install it with the brass adapter first. Be sure to have a few towels and Teflon tape, aka plumber's tape, with you as you're installing just in case of leaks, which I definitely had. So if you're still somehow watching and you too want to save the planet one flush at a time, be sure to use a coupon code or honey during your checkout to save you some money while you're at it. Man, this is probably the weirdest video I'll make ever. <laughs>